Hello everyone and welcome to another Wednesday drawing session with me, Frank Cho. Today I'm going to draw something different. Instead of drawing my usual Marvel or DC superhero, I decided to draw a cartoon character, namely Tinkerbell from the Peter Pan movie. Now Tinkerbell is essentially a wood sprite, I guess, like a magical fairy. And she's this tiny little character that flies around uh, accompanying Peter Pan in his adventures. And uh, I don't know why I decided to draw Tinkerbell. I, I think I originally was going to draw the Wasp uh, from the Avengers. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to try and change it up a bit and draw Tinkerbell instead. Essentially, to me, uh, they're very similar characters. They're these tiny little beings with wings. Uh, while the wasp is essentially a um, a wasp, a human wasp, uh, with the wasp wing, uh, Tinker Bell is a fairy with uh, is a tiny fairy with with wings. Um, so I had this image of Tinker Bell where she's just kind of like floating, flying and floating about uh, in, in her typical, I guess flying pose whereas she's kind of like standing upright with her arms kind of throw thrown back and she's almost like hopping from one flower to another so it's that's the pose that I had in mind and with that once I had once I locked that pose in my mind is is pretty quickly uh drawn onto paper I mean and uh so that's this is one of the few times where I have the image very clearly in mind and then I just like go with it. And so here it is, uh, I draw the, my usual, the, the head. At this point, she looks like a, <laughs> she looks like a, kind of like a, uh, uh, like an alien, like a bald alien with pointed ears. But you know, but that really doesn't matter at this point. At this point, I'm just trying to sketch out the, the body pose uh, and when drawing a woman, um, they're essentially is, I'm drawing uh, a skinny dude first, and then just adding the hips, and all that, and so that's the big uh, distinction between drawing uh, men and women. So with Tinkerbell, she's clearly a woman. So I, I try to, uh, you make the the waist narrow and the hips wide. And the legs, very curvy. Yeah, kind of on the long side, but curvy. And um, so, so I drew the her left leg straight ahead, and I decided to draw the the right leg kind of, kind of back. It's almost like she's like walking in midair. And again, uh, your knowledge of anatomy uh, really uh, comes in handy here. Uh, so there you go. I pretty much uh, laid out, you know, that that walking pose. And now during my first initial sketching period, you know, uh, run, um, I got the rough gestures down. And then at this point, I'm just refining everything. So you'll see me constantly drawing and erasing and drawing, um, looking for the true line. Um, I. I mean that's how I operate. I you know I'm never satisfied with the uh, the initial sketch, so I'm, at this point I'm just refining. So as you can see, the 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 first time around, I drew the legs a little too long, and um, and then I quickly uh, fix that. I just just tweaking it a little bit. There's the quad, the knee, and the the ankle. And so there you go. So I, it's, it's like a real quick fix. Just drawing the, uh, make sure that everything's proportioned, you know, um, because the early on, the, the leg was a little too long. Again, it probably would have been okay because since this is just a, uh, a cartoon characters and cartoons all about exaggeration. But with my style, I tend to lean toward the realistic. So, um... That's what I'm doing. I'm just going with a more of a realistic, like a slightly exaggerated realistic proportions uh, and poses. So again, this is a very cute, charming pose where she is just kind of like, you know, walking on air uh, with her uh, arms thrown back. Uh, it's almost like she's kind of like sneaking up on you in, in midair. 
and uh and you know and here i am trying the 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 shoulder and the arm where they meet so again this is kind of a tricky area uh the whole shoulder area is really tricky to draw uh but you know again when drawing a woman the less line you use the the better because they look more feminine and graceful but if you add too much lines then they tend to get more um masculine looking so here i am just drawing the hand you know again i kind of screwed up there where i drew the the hand a little just too long but again you know this is that's the fun of drawing uh, pencil drawing is you can erase it if you screw up you erase it uh, there's no shame in that you know like i said when i'm drawing i always have uh, a pencil on one hand and an eraser on the other hand and I use both very liberally and, uh, and all the time, you know, and constantly. So here I am. Uh, I'm working on the face now. Now, the first time around, I noticed that her top of her head was a little too low. So give her more like a, uh, that, that famous tabloid bat boy look, you know, that ball headed with that, you know, with that big, big pointy ears and all that. So, um, so I decided to elongate her forehead a little bit and then drew in her hairline and her ultimately her hair. Uh, so, yeah, so Tinkerbell has a very distinct hair hairstyle. It's, uh, it's, she has her hair pulled back in a bun, and but she has her kind of like this long wavy bang in front of her. And so there I am just drawing her eyes. Again, uh, usually the, the eyes that I've drawn her is a little bit slightly bigger than I normally draw. Because again, this is a cartoon characters. And uh, cartoon characters tend to have bigger eyes. So, here's a fun, fun fact. Um, manga was completely influenced by Disney uh, animation cartoons. Um, because like they saw that the uh, the Disney characters had these big giant eyes, and uh, and the Japanese artists start to imitate the the drawing style of Disney movies, and then after a bunch of um, generation, they became they got uh, they developed this classic manga big eye style, but they but it all originally came from Disney movies. So that that's that's a fun fact that you know, fun useless fact that <laughs> you can keep in your mind. So here I am. So I'm actually at this point. I noticed that she's a little bit slightly too muscular uh, upper body, so I am just kind of like refining it, um, and also refining her face a little bit, uh, giving her eyelashes and all that. And here I am working on the wings. So, uh, wing wise, I decided to give her like, uh, kind of like a, like a B wing, you know, um, like a wasp or something like that. So, or dragonfly even. So you have these, uh, these transparent wings with, uh, with these little vein veining in them. Um, so this is just all made up. I mean, uh, I, I basically trying to figure, you know, trying to give it that, the, the B look the B wing look, um, but, and again, here I am, um, same thing with her costume, um, the, the cartoon costume is just, just a flat green with some fringes at the bottom, so I decided to add more detail, since she's a wood sprite, I decided to give her more of like a, like a leaf kind of motif, almost like poison ivy, and here I am, I just decided to make her hair a little fuller, uh, give her more, um, more feminine look in the hair by just making it a little bit slightly bigger and here I am just tweaking the her costume and it's and then again I'm just just outlining everything just uh, having fun with it you know just kind of like reinforcing the lines and the hand and all that and actually this turned out pretty good I thought so there you have